Hello everybody, thanks for watching today. In this video, I'm gonna be doing the basic communication test on my new Acorn controller and getting the software installed on the PC. Um, kinda from the videos that Centroid's put out on how to install this, uh, this is kinda your very basic setup and ensures that you have all your communication issues worked out before you go donating all your time and effort into wiring up this controller. So we're gonna do the basic uh, communication test and before I do that, uh, there was a few requirements for your PC. The first one was the processor capabilities. Um, I had to use an AMD, it's an FX 8350. Um, it's an eight core CPU. It scored just above what it needed to score as far as the single thread process. Um, on Passmark's website, they, wanted, they showed it to be just over 1500. And that's what Centroid's basing their scores on. It's 1500 for the mill software, it's 1000 for the lathe software. So there's a lot more options with the lathe software as far as what computers you can use. But for the mill software, unfortunately, I couldn't just go grab some dual core old computer. I actually had to go grab the newest computer I've got. Um, and it just barely passes the, the benchmark test. So I do have plenty of memory in there. They only need four gigabytes. This one's got 16. It's got a solid state hard drive, which I would just say is a requirement. It's recommended, but if this thing's gonna be next to a machine that's vibrating like crazy, you don't want a spinning disk hard drive um, for your operating system. It's just gonna give you problems. So solid state hard drive, plenty of memory. It's got a very basic video card. I doubt it needs it. It wasn't on the requirements list. So I've got Windows 10 installed completely up to date for the installation, before I even got started with their list of modifications that needed to be made in Windows, I set the BIOS configuration so that as soon as, the sw as, soon as this thing gets power, it automatically turns on. Um, it's just a quick BIOS setting, switch that. That way when I actually crank the switch on the back of the machine, everything boots up together. So in their bench test instructions, the first thing they want you to do is connect up your relay board. So I've got my relay board mounted on a rail mount for a 35 millimeter DIN rail. Again, I went to thingiverse.com. They had these just typed in acorn relay and uh, I'll have to mount that to a piece of railing, but it holds it. And then the same thing, uh, I went to the same place, got the, the mounting box for the, the controller itself. So that's done. I've plugged in the power and they say now to plug the cable in, the ethernet cable. So they say to use shielded ethernet cable. Um, this is the one that they sent you and I'd never seen or known to look for this before. Uh, hopefully I can show you what to look for on an ethernet cable to make sure it's gonna have the right shielding on it but you can see uh, kind of stamped metal shielding right here around the outside of the cable so you're gonna to want to get this shielded cable if you're not using the one that it provided um, so shielded cat5 patch cable now they say to plug it into the PC first um, you might want to get a Wi-Fi card or something at this point because then you're going to download the software. Um, you're going to be using your networking card for the controller itself. All right, so we've got that connected. And we can go ahead and plug the power cord in, which I'm going to grab an extension cord real quick. All right, so let's go ahead and plug it in. Hope nothing smokes. Lots of lights everywhere. Um, it said to check for a pulse, which is, I can see the, the blue light right here flashing. It flashed really fast, and now it's just a slow flash. And we got lots of LEDs on, no smoke, no smells, everything's looking good. Now, let's see. At this point, they tell you to go ahead and set up the PC. You're gonna want, I'm gonna put a link in the video comments here, uh, or the description that shows you where to go watch that video, because it's on YouTube. 
he does it quick, he's to the point, and it, he works for Centroid, so um, the, those are the proper instructions, is watch this YouTube video. He's going to go over updating the PC, setting the uh, automatic time selection off, uh, making sure you have user uh, account, uh, administrative account functions. You don't want any notifications coming through on your computer. And even after setting all that up, I still got a notification here. So I found another place to turn off all notifications because you don't want that um, messing you up on a job. All of a sudden you can't hit emergency stop because the screen's clogged up with notifications. That'd be no good. So there's another area in the user account control features where you got more notifications to t clear off. You got to turn your firewalls off. Um, you want to turn your power options all set up so that it doesn't go into sleep mode. The video does, the monitor doesn't turn off. The hard drive doesn't turn off. The USB doesn't turn off. Um, so you're going to want to get all of that taken care of. And I, again, I highly recommend look at, watching their video to make sure you get all those steps done. And then it's time to download the software. You're going to download the software. Once you run it, it's going to give you a little Windows Defender block, hit more info, run the program anyways. And then that's where I'm at. So let's go ahead and start the software. And hopefully you can see up there on the screen. But it says it's establishing communications with Acorn. Now at this point, the Acorn is getting powered up for the first time and plugged in. Um, it's going to go through an update process and hopefully there will be some kind of signal to let me know that that's been done. Meanwhile, twiddling our thumbs. Unable to establish communication with Acorn. So I'm assuming that this is a firewall issue and for whatever reason, um, even though it was fully updated, something happened here. Firewall's turned off. Well, my favorite thing to do whenever I have issues is restart. Okay, so we're not getting any communication to this board. Um, try unplugging it and plugging it in again. Okay, so it's still timed out. All right, so this is frustrating because I double checked my firewall stuff. I went step by step through every single one of their check boxes, made sure I had Windows configured correctly. Go ahead and unplug this and plug it back in. Um, this should have been easy. Rarely ever turns out that way. Well, I'm going to try reinstalling the Centroid software, see if that was the problem. I think I just learned an important lesson on jumping the gun. Yeah. All right, so important lesson. Don't install the software until you have your board connected because I still am having issues. What? Oh, I hope this thing didn't just brick. I don't know if it's working or not. Um, that was un unexpected. So it said there was communication failure after the update. I hit any key to continue. It closed the program, opened the program back up. It seems to be working. So the first time I installed the software, I did not have the board plugged in and it did not change the IP address on the networking card. So you will want to wait to do that. Um, it appears that now it's communicating. Uh, one thing I'm going to do is make it auto hide the taskbar. All right, there we go. Taskbar is hidden. Except for now. Go away. So clear the fault and then home by hitting the green button. Machine home set. We should start getting some uh, movement commands here. Yep. Got some movements going. 
Looks like we got a positive test here. Everything is finally successful. Um, as far as my W, I'll need to figure out how to change that display. I need to, yeah, I'm not digging this too much. So I'm gonna shut down the software, exit CNC 12. Usually you'd park the machine. That way you didn't have to spend forever homing it tomorrow and you'd boot it back up. Exit CNC 12. All right. Now at the taskbar hidden, I wonder if we get a better resolution here. All right, that looks a little bit better. We'll need to... All right, so we have successfully finished the bench test. Um, it was not as easy as I was hoping for, and it's done. If you follow the instructions on their video perfect, it'll work. So thanks everyone for watching. Um, I'm in my next video, I'll be wiring this up into the uh, boards in there. So if you like what you're seeing, you want to see more, hit that subscribe button, turn notifications on, give me the thumbs up. All right. Thanks again for watching. Take care.